my name is Dawn and I'm here with my colleague Kathy and we are here on Treaty 6 land, traditional homeland of the Métis, to bring you a festive Friday video. Today we would like to inspire you to make art in your neighborhoods to brighten people's days. So we're going to use snow, everybody has access to snow, everyone has access to buildings, whether it's at your school or your park or your house. Anywhere you see a big open wall that you think you could create some snow art that would cheer people up. And the nice yes. thing about snow art is it'll melt away and leave nothing behind. So no one's going to get upset that it's going to cause any damage to any property. Exactly. But do things uplifting, please. That would make people really excited and happy and put a smile on their faces. So let's try it. Okay, here we go. Now Dawn and I are going to try some free art and then we're going to try some with a pattern that Dawn made and you'll see the different effects that you can create. Cool. What do you think, Don? What should we try first? Let's try making a happy face. Okay. Like Sounds good. Like a happy good. face emoji. Because okay. that would make people happy, right? I like it. Okay. I'm going to start with doing like a circle. Okay. I'll help you make the circle. Okay. <laughs> and we'll see if we can actually make a circle. Freehand. How big should we make it? No. Kind of we'll try and make it kind of big. Okay. Oh, that's, look, that's oh, looking that's nice. Good. It actually sticks really, really nicely to brick. It doesn't stick very well to vinyl siding. So I you might, that. yeah, you might have to think about the kind of wall that you put it on. Okay. Unless now, maybe if it was super wet. This snow is kind of sticky, but it's not super wet. So if it was kind of a wetter day. I'm going to try smile. Excellent. Happy actually, is what we want. Okay, one eye. Oh, nice. <laughs> I love that. Do the other eye? Okay, I'm gonna try. Let's see if I can match those two eyes up. <laughs> we don't want it looking too awkward. We can have one squinty. Oh, here, I'm gonna. Our glasses fogged up. <laughs> <laughs> that looks awesome. So you could create a happy face and you could do anything you could think of. You could print a word. You could spell the word hi. Yeah. Maybe right under this happy face, I'm gonna put the word hi. Ooh, okay. I'll help. And this oh. time what I'm doing, instead of pushing, I just kind of drag the snow along and it's stuck I in. I like your smearing method. That works really good. So you could try smearing it. You could try all sorts of different things. Oh yeah. One I saw that they said you could really challenge your... I'm going to do an exclamation mark. Oh, exclamation mark. It's super happy saying, hi! <laughs> hi. All right. One method that I saw, and I don't know, because this snow is not sticking together that good, is that you could actually make snowballs and try and create a picture by throwing it. Oh. And you and your friends could take turns practicing and see if you could make a picture by throwing. I'm going to try okay. one. Dawn's going to try one. Hey, actually. Oh, that kind of sticks pretty good. Oh, it went too high for you to see. Let's try it again. Okay. <laughs> we'll do it right above our happy face. <laughs> So you can see it actually when you throw it, it sticks pretty well. This is actually lots of fun. Now, okay. another idea Dawn had is to make patterns. Uh, so I made a template using paper and uh, we'll just scooch our camera over and we'll show you how this works. All right, so here's a circle pattern and Dawn had done a diamond pattern earlier to try. So okay, I'm gonna, gonna let you try this one. I already... Hmm. You sometimes you need a few handfuls to make the shape the way you want it to. And if it goes over the edge of the paper, that's okay because when you pull the paper off, it'll pull all that extra snow off around it. I like it. Okay. There we oh, go. Oh, it looks that worked perfect. really well. Now, what yes. could, and then you can sit there and imagine what could you turn that circle into? Maybe you, yeah. uh, maybe you could do three circles and it would look Ooh. like a snowman. Okay, let's try that. They're all the same size. You could always make another template that's different sizes of circles. I'm helping you out this time. Perfect. Teamwork. All right, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna take my glove off to do that. Oh, nice. Nice. You can also do just like abstract art with doing circles in a different pattern and growing bigger and smaller. I think we need one more circle first. I pattern. agree. All right, I'll line it up. That looks pretty cool. 
I think oh, that yeah. works really well. And then you can do a little smearing and you can try oh. pushing snow in. Her arms. Now it's a little tricky when you want to do small things. Yeah. Ooh, that's a big arm. Chip it away. And so it gives cute. the Im impression of being a snowman. Now, like Dawn said, like say a snowman might have a bigger circle, but once yeah. you have the pattern there to help you, there's nothing stopping you from taking some extra snow. Totally. And just using the pattern that was there. To make it a little bigger. And if you make a mistake, you can always rub off the extra snow just like that. Pretty easy. Mm -hmm. So that's a fun, and simple thing you can do to cheer up a wall in your neighborhood or at your school. And when the sun comes out or the wind comes, it'll just melt away, just like a sand castle on the beach. Exactly. And it's a lot of fun to do with your friends and family. So you can go out and make a snow art project with all the ones that you love. And yeah, have a make great all, day. Make all the patterns you can think of. Exactly. Perfect. Uh, have a great day, everyone. Bye. Enjoy the snow. <laughs>